what's up everybody um so it's friday news day and um i have actually a few announcements so the first one is super exciting for me as an artist because as you know i came from idol american idol which was awesome um but it was kind of an arranged marriage you know after getting in the industry and while it was awesome sometimes sometimes it was rough um, but we, uh, RCA and I had such an awesome, I think 15 years it was, or 14, 15 years. And um, super excited for all the people that I got to work with. Super stoked that, you know, my career so far has been so awesome. So thank you so much for our RCA and, and the people that, you know, who I love there. And um, anyway, but I have to announce today that it was my first time in my career, 15 years later, starting in this industry, that I actually got to pick who I got to work with. And I was very excited to, to see who would be excited to work with me. And I'm gonna tell you right now, Atlantic Records was like, just overwhelmingly, just inspired by me and like excited to work with me. Craig Cowman, Julie Greenwald, like everybody on their team, like everybody was so excited and won me over. And I'm so excited because they want to make the album that I've been dying to make since I was a kid. And since I was on Idol, everybody's been asking me to make a soulful record for years. And while we've always had soulful influences on my records, like we've never actually made a soulful record. So that is what Atlantic Records and I are about to do. So I want to say thank you so much to RCA for the last 15 years. Seriously, we did awesome together, but I'm very, very, very excited about picking my label for the first time. And it was Atlantic Records. And that's the first announcement. And we've got a couple other announcements coming that are really cool too, I hope, I think. Um, but before I do that, I wanted to sing. I'm like really nervous. <laughs> um, not to sing, just talking. Um, but uh, I wanted to sing one more song, and it's an Atlantic artist. And that's one reason why I love Atlantic as well. I mean, if you look at their catalog, it's all these artists that I grew up listening to and I'm in love with, Aretha being one of those. And um, anyway, so. I thought it would be cool this week to make this announcement um, via fan requests because all these songs I've sang this week have been requested on tour. If you don't know what fan request is, <clears throat> sorry, um, we do a show on tour you know, every, every night and then every night we learn, literally like before soundtrack, I'm like, okay, this is the song we're picking today for, for this show and someone from that audience that night will have picked a song that we learned that day and perform and sometimes it goes really swimmingly well and sometimes it doesn't <laughs> um, but most of the time it goes really well and it's become this big thing that my fans really love and um, so anyway I decided to do this announcement these few announcements um, this week with these fan requests and this one has, has been requested and it happens to be an Atlantic artist which is amazing as well um, and it's actually just a shout out to I'm seeing this in particular to get all cheesy on you because people have been supporting me and standing by me since Idol and so I thought it'd be cool to do Benny King Stand By Me. Which is actually, I didn't know we were doing so many soundtrack songs, which is why a lot of you guessed soundtrack. Um, but I didn't plan that, that was just what happened. So this is Stand By Me. Here we go. <laughs> I'm feeling a little verklempt. Oh, and I have announcements afterwards too. But I'm gonna do this first. <laughs> when the night has come and the land is dark yeah. and the moon is the only light we'll see no I won't be afraid no I won't be afraid just as long as you stay
I can't stop smiling because I'm so excited because Atlantic Records and I'm making a soulful record. Um, you probably can't understand what I'm saying because I'm smelling so big, but whatever. Um, did you make it clear that all the songs this week were by Atlantic artists? Oh, yeah, I don't know if I did that. Good one, Ashley Erslin. Um, no, all these songs this week were Atlantic artists, and I know, was it Will who guessed it first? Was it a fan? No, Mikey. Mikey. Mikey guessed it first, yeah. Um, one of my fans that I've met, actually, in New York, when we were doing the Peace by Peace thing, I actually met him. Um, he won the Peace by Peace contest, didn't he? What is it, one of the winners? Yeah. Anyway, he actually guessed. We noticed that. Um, I think he guessed first. Or it was the first one we Mikey saw. Mikey Morrison. Mikey Morrison. What? Um, he guessed first. That was one of the announcements. Um, there was no way you were going to guess the other two. Um, or maybe, I don't know. But you didn't, so I guess no. <laughs> know what I just said. I'm just excited. Um, anyway, so um, yes, we are going to make some soulful records and some RCA, or maybe with some Atlantic. And what's cool about Atlantic Records too is that they love every part of my personality, like as far as like um, all my colors, you know, of my voice too. Like, you know, I love the country side of me and I love the Broadway side of me and I love the pop side of me and the soulful side of me and they are, they are down to make really whatever record I'm into, which is real rare, so I'm super excited about it. Um, you know, and they have a great country department if I ever want to make that. I know a lot of fans have been asking when I'm going to make a country record, and I promise you I'm going to make one. I love country music, but right now, um, I would really love to focus on making the most amazing soulful record, because I've wanted to make this since I was a kid. My mom has wanted this for years. This one's from my mom, too. And um, anyway, so now that we have done that. Um, so all week long we've done these fan requests and I keep getting asked by fans, like oh, we've been doing the fan request live thing on tour for years. I don't even know how long. Jason's the one who started it actually. He left. <laughs> you don't see Jason anymore. <laughs> no. Um, but anyway, um, he started it years ago and, and had the idea and so um, I always get asked to make an album and so I don't want to make money off that because I think it's so cool how, how just like loyal my fans are and how really in to like my music that you know regardless of the genre um how y'all followed me on this journey and so and i wanted to bring it back to idle days this is how i started you know seeing other people's music and doing covers and how some of my favorite artists like aretha and um a bunch of other artists like you know that that was their career too they covered these amazing songs and and did it brilliantly and so hopefully that's what i i strive to do with the fan request thing and so what we did is we have set up KellyClarksonLive.com, and I'm gonna have Aben right now come here right now, cause Aben actually put everything together with Jason and Weiss and everybody. This has been a really great team here. You can't see them all, but um, it's been a really fascinating week for us. Um, but anyway, we're putting up KellyClarksonLive.com, and what I'm doing for y'all is instead of giving away stuff like and making you pay for it, I think there should be a, you know a reward for being so loyal and cool and. Y'all been asking for these, so I'm going to give you today four songs for free on kellyclarksonlive.com and um, also a video. We're gonna, you can stream a video, too, um, of me singing Tightrope, um, which is one of my favorite things Weiss has done. It's so awesome. I love that song wow. from the last record. And it's all live, and that's kind of the thing about this site. And every, the last Friday of every month, we're going to be giving away free stuff, like regardless if it's songs or content or whatever it may be might you know do this every last Friday you know of the month and um, I basically just want to give away stuff because I you know we've done so much stuff and we have so much um, so many songs recorded from you know tour or just us in the studio or whatever and it'd be cool to give y'all something I don't know for free so this is all free kellyclarksonlive.com is so, it live Avon? it's live oh Avon did it it's live it's up now boom <laughs> Picture brought to you by YC Banks. Um, and we're keeping it simple. You can stream stuff. You can download it. Um, and like I said, every month we're going to be giving stuff um, away the last Friday of every month. And, um, yeah, I hope you dig the songs. We picked this one. We picked um, Fix You, Coldplay. That was one of the – I kind of picked four that people, like, raved about fan-wise. And so um, Fix You, Coldplay is one of them. Um, I'd Rather Go Blind, Etta James. I love that one too, but that was one of them. We've covered that a few times. Um, and Creep, Radiohead, that was literally one of my favorites um, that we did. And Ready for Love, India Ari, we did that one as well. And um, these are all just soulful songs, but they're all in a different way soulful. And I think that that's what's great about you know um, my career. I love that like my fans will follow me regardless if I'm doing something pop or country or you know. I've, doing some Broadway stuff or doing whatever it is, like y'all are down for the ride. And 
that's so awesome for artists and just to speak for every artist out there like we love that y'all go on that journey with us because it would be very freaking boring if I had to do the same songs over and over and over and over and over <laughs> you know I like shaking it up so but anyway so kellyclarksonlive.com that is for um for every Friday the last Friday not every Friday last Friday of every month and um I hope you like the stuff and if you're if you're already gone Good, because you're getting the songs for free right now, but break the internet, do it. But that's my dog, Cairo. <laughs> He's excited too. But um, do you want to do questions? Are yeah, there... there's a couple of them. Okay. Um, Anna Bobis from Brazil wants to know what is I one of... Brazil. Yeah, what is it? They all want you to come back. Yeah. I know. But, um, I but want to too. I was just you know procreating for a while. But she wants to know <laughs> if you can think of a fan request that didn't go well. Like in your okay. head, oh. you thought it would go better. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of those. <laughs> um, well, actually, a funny one is actually Ashley's favorite. Um, it's Oh Darlin by the Beatles because I didn't actually know that song very well at all. And so whenever everybody was asking me to sing it, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. I'm going to go for it. It's more of that bluesy, soulful side of the Beatles. I was like, okay, let's do it. And like during the show, it was like, I mean, every melody just left my head, like of what was actually supposed to be sung. <laughs> And so, it's my favorite one, and it's going to go up on Kelly Clarkson Live. <laughs> it, will, it will make it up on kellyclarksonlive.com. But um, I was just so... It's one of those things that like you think you did a horrible one, but everybody else is like, it's my favorite one, of course. And then like nights, I think I'm like, I nailed it. People are like, meh. Yeah, it's great. It's how life goes. So, Any more questions? Um, I'm just reading them as they're coming. Dylan wants to know if on your next tour, if you had any ideas on somebody you might like to perform with or open for you or co-tour with. Just, is there I, want, I know some on? people I'd like to open for, just because I, or tour with, open for, I don't care. I honestly, okay, I'm going to break it down. I love opening for people like the Marine Five tour I did because I get to go on stage so early and that means I get to put my kids to bed. I've been fed at a decent hour. I'm so old. But I love doing that. So, um, but I would, you know, go on tour with or or do whatever with a bunch of artists. I love. I'd love to go with Justin Timberlake. I know he went with Pink one time, and so he and Christina. So he likes females. So maybe one day. I don't know. He might want some of this on tour. I don't know. Not like that, way, <laughs> Jessica. <laughs> awesome. Well, everybody. <laughs> oh, awkward. <laughs> everybody's just saying congratulations, and they're so excited about the songs. So, I, and I think a lot of people have already gone to KellyClarksonLive.com. Oh, good. So, awesome. Uh, hopefully. Yeah, if you're not asking time. questions, that means you're getting the song. So, enjoy the free stuff. And um, thanks so much for this week. I had no idea. I legitimately thought, like, maybe a thousand people would, like, <laughs> watch and everything. But, once again, I do want to recap. Thank you so much to RCA. Especially, you know, Pete Edge, who runs the label right now. Like, he was my fourth regime, you know, at RCA. And I love him. He's a, he's a great guy. He is not the reason why I left. And, um, you know, it's just... I love, you know, what Atlantic can offer me, and I love Julie and Craig and how passionate they are, and we're, you know, we just are really in sync on a lot of things, and, and um, it's just an exciting new start for me, and it was my first time to get to pick, so here we go. Cheers. This little Sauvignon Blanc coming y'all away. Cheers to a new fresh start. I'm very excited. And to a 2017 Soulful Record. What? Oh. <laughs> Bye.